Hey guys, Scott Mears here um, in Tanzania, Tanzania from Timon, 2018 for the first time ever. Um, I'm back with an interview and I'm with an amazing guy here called Gracious and I've just watched his speech in there and he's got this incredible um, product. Uh, it's an operational arm that he'll tell you lots about in a minute. And I had to get him on camera because I was just blown away by how he's created it because as he'll tell you in a minute, um, He's, he's had to find the materials for it um, just on the streets, not even um, be purchasing these materials. So it's just amazing um, how he's just committed to it and created such an incredible uh, movable arm that works. Um, and it, just the commitment is incredible. So I'll leave it over to Gracious to introduce himself and tell, him a, tell you a little bit more about um, what he's created. So Gracious, over to you. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Gracious from Tanzania. I'm 20 years old. I currently completed high school last year. I am a technological innovator around many innovations, and uh, one of them, as you have seen, is uh, the uh, digital robotic hand, which has many capabilities and can also uh, be controlled in different way, like Bluetooth, and also can also be automated. Absolutely, um, and I mean, 20 years old. I mean, that is really incredible. I, um, yes. To think 20 years old and what he's achieving, it really is amazing. So I just want to ask you a few questions. We will share the product, by the way. I've already taken a video and I'll put that into this video so you will see it, what we're talking about, and you'll understand the crazy commitment that this guy has. So first of all, I want to understand, because I know you mentioned there's a lot of problems you face when creating it. There's a lot of, um, it doesn't work. Um, how do you push through that continuous um, just putting it together and it's, oh, no, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And how do you push through that mental barrier? Yeah, yes, uh, it's true that I face many discouragements as, as you know, my project is made from uh, local materials because mm. most robotic materials are rare in, in our uh, country. Mm. So most uh, local materials are not that efficient. Mm. So there are many areas that occur, the many discouragements uh, to the extent that you want to quit the project, but... Um, because of com commitment and passion and uh, looking forward to, uh, to a target to achieve a complete uh, product mm. uh, we just do some refreshment I just do some refreshment when I face discouragement and after it's over I just continue uh, and find a solution for the problem that I've had presently nice so yeah. you're driven by a passion yeah passion you refresh yourself you remember yeah. why you're doing it yes. and you get back to it and solve the problem love it it's so simple and that's usually what it is, is people, most people will have an idea and they'll be all buzzed about it and they'll start doing it and then they'll realize, oh, wait a minute, this is hard. Yeah, yeah. And they'll just give up. Whereas you haven't and you've proven on the stage to over 200 people that he's just shown a working arm and it's just incredible that he's picked up those materials just off the streets. It's, it's incredible. Um, uh, you wouldn't see that in the UK, I can tell you that. <laughs> you are an inspiration. Um, I'll just throw a few more questions in regards to... So there's the commitment and determination. So what encourages you, uh, what is your vision with, with this then? Is it um, a vision to make money? Is it a vision to um, a more sustainable future? Is it, uh, what is your vision with this art ultimately? Uh, obviously, the main vision is to make money, but mm -hmm. it, we must pass through different stages. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to collect funds and uh, if I have funds and support, I will marketize it, mm -hmm. and then um, we'll be now contacting different products, uh, different uh, customers, for example, industries mm -hmm. yeah, uh, in different fields like hospitals. Uh, mm -hmm. So, for example, maybe let's say our customers are industries, so we just approach them and ask them that we can design a machine to work in this way. So they just, um, they just give us the specific details of mm -hmm. how do they want the design and the work to, to be like. And then um, I'll go and design uh, the system, and then we'll make a complete product, and uh, we'll sell to them like that. So we'll be making money like that, with nice. selling uh, products that will listen to our customers. What do they mm. say? What do they want? And then we'll do it. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's made. Yeah, obviously you want to make money, but it's nice that you'd be maybe looking to the medical side of things, being able to bring machinery yeah. to help with the medical and health side is, is, is amazing. Um, yeah, and absolutely, obviously that, that light touch of the custom build, I think is a great idea as well. Um, I think it allows you to really get involved in the project, doesn't it, rather than just, 
mass building uh, the product. Yes, yes. Um, that was amazingly inspirational and um, I think of another question because I, I just think it's so, I just want to pick your brains because honestly I've never met someone in the UK that has your commitment to do that, like I, I really do, it's a testament to you. Um, so I'm going to find another question in regards to your commitment and so we know what encouraged you and your commitment. Why do you do this? What, what pushes you? I know your vision, but why do you do it? Is it, is it that you want to become famous for what you do? Do you, do you do it because you've got a family, a supporting family behind you? What is your main why? What if there was one sentence of your why you do this? Um, maybe let me uh, give you a little uh, details of my background. Since my uh, secondary, I I was uh, I was uh, a leader. I was selected to be a leader of different school clubs that are involved in science. Mm. Most of the students were running from them because uh, they just want to focus on studies and they think that maybe they'll spend too much time in the club. And so mm. um, I was uh, conducting these activities despite of having an academic pressure and and, and the like and a lack of support. So um, this is. The reason, the main reason that I, I really have um, a commitment to technology, mm. not just to be famous. Also, I, I, I don't, uh, I, I don't disagree that I don't want to be famous. I, <laughs> I also would appreciate if I'll be famous for innovations. Yeah. And also, um, they, as I say, the main reason is to make money. And mm -hmm. also, I've seen that I have, uh, I'm capable of uh, making innovations that are complex. Yeah. Uh, using materials from scratch and this has been a point uh, where I want to take advantage of. Yeah. yeah. So again, it's been driven by that passion and yeah, yeah. Um, just the love of what you can achieve with that. And if you become famous with it, then it's fun, you make a bit more money. And it, yeah, it's yeah. nice to be famous for the right yeah. reasons, to be famous for what you do and be known for the amazing skill you have. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Grace. I really appreciate that. Thanks I really too. do. I would shake your hand, but my hand is holding the camera. <laughs> right, thank we'll you. After. Absolutely. Thank you, Rachel. But please do support him. He is looking for investment. Um, so I would highly recommend if you're looking for custom built machinery, a very inspirational kit. I mean, he's 20 years old and he's creating products that are movable arms that work completely fine, efficient from just stuff he's found, uh, recycling stuff on the streets. Like that is just unheard of, incredible. Um, I will put in a video after this so you can actually see what we're talking about. So you'll actually <coughs> see what he's created. That's the prototype. But is there any social media that you should follow, your YouTube or anything that yeah, you want to tell them? YouTube channel, uh, just subscribe. It's called Robotics from Scratch. Uh, you might, uh, when you search it, it might not appear uh, directly, but you can just scroll, scroll down right, okay. and you can see it. Okay, yes. fantastic. So robotics from scratch. So go hit him up, give him a subscribe, give him a follow, and show some support because he's an amazing, inspirational guy, and he's he's gonna achieve big things. He really is. So thank you, Rachel. I appreciate it. Thanks to Until next time, guys. See you then. See you Bye. later.